My name is Rainer Merkle. I work for Holzbring Ventures. Uh, we are a consumer internet fund based in Munich, investing into German, European and global companies um, and uh, focusing on consumer internet segment, uh, but flexible to do investments between 500,000 up to 15 million in the fund. At a conference like this at the NOAA, um, what is your role? Are you more here as an investor and helping your portfolio companies or are you here looking for strong teams uh, maybe for your next investment? So it's really both. Uh, our primary uh, goals are exactly those two. Uh, we uh, bond a lot with other investors, uh, but primarily we're raising capital for the companies we already invested in, uh, but also look for uh, new interesting uh, companies. Absolutely. So really twofold and for both this is an incredible platform, very efficient, many investors here. Basically an uh, entrepreneur can to talk, talk to every single investor in Europe in these two days. So it's very efficient. Um, Outfittery is a company for, of your portfolio and uh, tomorrow uh, they will be pitching from the Seven Ventures Pitch Day. Um, can you talk about Outfittery a little bit from the perspective of the investor? Sure. So Outfittery for us is kind of a, a classic uh, company that we fund. We come in as the first investor together with the potential angels or other investors and then really work very closely with the management to bring this to a level uh, at which we attract outside capital to grow the company. Now reflecting back, we are one and a half years invested. Uh, they have incredible traction. They built out the basis of the company, great processes, logistics, own sourcing and are now at a, at a scale where we bring in outside investors to fuel the growth. Uh, to explore other marketing channels and create real buzz around it. Uh, we know the channels and know how to scale, but of course uh, TV would be the uh, perfect ingredient to now fuel exactly this phase of the company. So we're hoping uh, to really uh, a good performance uh, for tomorrow's uh, competition. Great. Um, so last week, no, it was, I think it was yesterday, uh, Wunderlist announced uh, a new deal, 19 million with Sequoia Capital. And uh, the week before, Twitter went public. Um, how would you rate the climate for startups um, at the moment uh, and maybe a special view on Germany? Sure. So I think the climate uh, has never been better before, uh, but there are some uh, pitfalls uh, along the whole road. So if you uh, look at the different company phases from initiation all the way to a Twitter IPO, um, I think it's incredibly easy to start a company today. It's very easy to attract the first round of capital by angels, public money, early investors. But then what we see, especially in Germany, it's quite challenging to get those uh, two, three, five million of Series A investment before you're able to really show uh, significant traction, historical cohorts, to then attract uh, growth capital like uh, Wunderlisted. So I think uh, overall climate uh, is great, and especially you mentioned Twitter IPO, the public markets are getting more and more open uh, to consumer internet or digital media companies, and that's, that's really good, and fueling the ecosystem all the way uh, top down. But still, we need to work more. What we do here, especially as well, is just getting, uh, increasing the appetite of the investors, putting those critical two, three, five million into companies, and that holds true for Germany as well. And would you say that it's really um, that the money is scarce, or would you say that um, companies have trouble convincing the investors that they are really at the point where they're ready for that next little stage? I think it's more the latter. I think there's a lot of money in principle in the market. Now, of course, there are more companies than in the past, which is uh, per se good, but there are not more investors. So the investors tend to have a bit more money uh, and other money is going into the markets, but somehow not in this phase. So our view is more company activity, early phases and more money, but then no increase in funding in this first Series A uh, funding. And of course, as a result, investors get very, very picky and uh, whenever possible they try uh, to see historical cohorts, a lot of traction, which those companies often cannot uh, provide yet. So as a result, for instance, our conclusion is we try to fund those companies a bit longer. Uh, we try to bring in more capital early on uh, to be able to uh, navigate through this phase. Now, of course, our fund is in a position to fund this whole phase through, uh, which is not the case for many of the companies out there. So I think this is uh, the focus area uh, a lot of uh, companies need to really uh, be very sharp on. Great. In uh, the Q&A you already did for the Facebook page, uh, one of the things you said that you're looking for is a strong team. Yes. Uh, final question, how do you find out if this team is really strong and, and how, how do you rate what is a strong team? 
So for us, uh, we are a fund, we do not shy away and actually we like to work with uh, first-time entrepreneurs. So not, uh, it is not uh, an exception that we fund uh, university graduates after some internships and maybe some entrepreneurial experience. So obviously we cannot count on the entrepreneurial track record as a, as a strong trade, which other funds do. Uh, so therefore we're looking more for strong personal traits, so of course motivation, analytical skill set, so the basic skill set needs to be there, but then you really get a very quick feeling in the discussions how profound they have thought through the topic, how clear their vision uh, is, how to drive this company, how to develop it. So it's really uh, rather intangible uh, personal traits that we want to see, but that if you look at our portfolio, uh, and look at the founder and CEO profiles, you will get a feeling of uh, it's, it's very driven uh, personalities, highly motivated, but very analytical, very sharp, clear pattern of execution. So this is really uh, the stuff we're looking for. Great, thanks a lot for your time. Welcome, and have a good competition tomorrow.